Okay, so we have just finished the lecture on inheritance. Let's do some challenge questions to review some of the concepts we went over. So I have for you three different genograms with inheritance patterns for a disease. I want you to pause here and see if you can figure out what type of inheritance pattern these genograms represent. In this genogram, the circles are for females, the squares are for males, the black or filled in sh shapes are going to be affected and the clear or not filled in shapes will be unaffected. So take a look at A, B, and C and see what you think. Okay, here's the answers. Let's look at A. In A, we have a female that is affected. And now let's look down at the first generation just from that female with an unaffected male. You'll see that in that first generation, both of her male children were affected but none of her female children. This male child didn't have children. This male child did, and he happened to have a female partner that was also affected. Now, since both of those partners were affected, both of their male and female children were affected by that condition in the third generation. So this is a classic X-linked recessive trait. Okay, autosomal recessive. In this genogram, we have one male in the parent generation that's affected. None of his children in the first generation were affected, but in his grandchild was affected. So this trait skipped a generation and showed up in the grandchild, meaning that the child had a parent who was a carrier. If you have a parent who's a carrier, that's an autosomal recessive trait. All right, last one. In this one, we have autosomal dominant. Here we have a female who's affected and two out of four children in the next generation that were also affected. From that, one of those female children ended up having a partner who was unaffected, but two of her three children were affected. This is a pretty strong inheritance and points to a dominant trait. Notice that there's no predominance of males versus females. In fact, there's more females here than males. So this is what points to the fact that not only is it dominant, but it's also autosomal. Okay. I know these are tricky. Actually, these come from Wikipedia, which has a little site on pedigree charts and some more examples and explained examples for you if you wanna practice some more. These inheritance patterns are really important. So practice, practice, practice. Let me know if you have any other questions. See you soon.